All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Hogan Taylor High One, and I'm back again. But this time we gonna switch it up. I got a special treat for y'all, cause I know it's been a minute since y'all heard my voice. I've been gone. I know. I've been focused. But I got a story time since y'all been waiting. You feel me? We done hit. We're at like 109 subscribers. You feel me? I'm super hyped about that. I dropped some music. That's what I really been. I've been doing that. <laughs> Trying to get a bag. But listen. So I got a special story time for y'all today. And this is. You feel me? I'm just being more open with y'all. So I'm going to tell y'all. About the time. I lost. The V. Yes. How I lost my virginity. Bro. That's a funny ass story man. I feel like this shit needs to be shared. So without further ado. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna give y'all look like a little background. So I didn't I didn't lose my virginity till my junior year in high school. And um because I had a girlfriend from like from like ninth grade all the way to my junior year and we dated all the way. Yeah, we dated all the way through. Never had sex, you feel me? So we dated for like three years and we broke up. And so it's like shit, since we broke up, I'm finna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But look, so I, hey, so you know, he was this little shawty I had my eye on or whatever. She was younger than me, but you know, I knew she was fucking, so I pretty much was like, shit, shooters gonna shoot. So I shot my shot, and I, shit, I, I wet that bitch. So anyway, so you know, we texting or whatever. I got her like, like I know, like I'm finna, I'm finna hit her. Like she, she fucked with me. But um, this is how I made my first move. So like we in school or whatever, and I'm in class, not doing shit. She in class, not doing shit. We texting, and I said I'm finna come see you. She she was like, all right, I'm on this hall, blah blah. blah. And so uh, you know, I, I dip out class and I, I go see her. You know, we up by the water fountain and talking, flirting or whatever. And then uh, I said, all right, I'm finna go back. And she went for a, she went for a hug. It's went for a hug. I said, "Fuck it." I'm, I was being bold as hell. I don't know why I did this, but I was being bold. And I went for the kiss, bro. And I got it, bro. We made out for like probably felt like it felt like we made out for like two minutes, but maybe it was probably like twenty seconds. I don't know. But yeah, bro. And I was like, "Damn, shit." So anyway, we texting or whatever, and she was like. You can't be kissing me like that. Like, I was ready to fuck or whatever. And so I'm like, shit, we can do that. Like, you feel me? Like, what's up? That's what I'm trying to do. But anyway, so like, um, so it was, I think it was, this shit was on like a Friday. So I'm like, shit, so shit, so when you trying to do that? And she said, I'm going to be over my friend house tomorrow. So you slide through and we can got that whoop de whoop. And so, uh, so I'm like, all right, bet. How you feel? I hit my partner. I'm like, hey, bro. So what's the mood this weekend? You feel me? You know, shit. Like, what's happening? We from, let's go slide. Let's go slide these females, bro. And so, shit. We did that. And um, me and my boy. But this nigga. I don't know. I guess he. I don't know. But look. So we was going. Both of us was going to a female's house. She had the free crib, right? It's her and her friend. I fucked her friend, right? It's two on two. This nigga goes and brings another. All right, my bad. Pardon the interruption, bro. I ran out of storage. Fuck off, phones. But anyway, so this nigga goes and he brings another bitch. I guess he, I guess he didn't think he could fuck the friend or the girl who house it was. So he's like, you know, I'm finna kiss on too. So bro, go scoop his girl, or whatever. It's S three. We pull up. You feel me? We get there late, bro. It's probably like, probably like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. You feel me? Nah, it may have been a little earlier than that. It may have been about nine. But anyway, so shit. So we in there. We pull up or whatever. We At first, we just chilling. It's five of us, three females, me and my boy. And um, you feel me? I'm caking with my shorty or whatever. I mean, it was like my shorty. I'm caking with old girl or whatever. She was my shorty at the time, so fuck it. I'm caking with her. You feel me? We flirting or whatever. We kissing and shit. Like, you know, being obnoxious as hell. Like, now that I think about it, like, we was really being obnoxious. Like, we was being the niggas that I hate being around. <laughs> Real shit. But, um, so, damn, hold on. I want y'all to see my, my hair. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, we doing that. We doing our thing. We kissing or whatever. And, uh, um, so my buddy's like, shit, y'all trying to go smoke? The girl I was fucking with, she don't smoke. So she was like, nah, 
but the other two, they was like, shit, yeah. So you feel me? I feel like that's actually, you know, I'm, 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 I'm speed, I'm skipping parts. Let me go back. I want to give y'all the real, like the whole shit. So we kissing or whatever. You feel me? I'm, cause like we laying, like we on the couch, like we laying next to each other. Like she in front of me, and like I'm laying in front of her. So like we, you feel me? They on the other couch, like. It's it's a, like one of them L couches or whatever. We on like the wrong party, so we laying there because no whatever you feel me. I'm, I'm in there like I'm, I'm going crazy. You feel me? I'm like, oh good fuck, I'm going crazy. Yeah, I know them niggas hear that. Shit. Like I know my partner heard it because he told me he heard that shit. But anyway, so we doing that. And, uh, shit, she was like, she said, shit, let me, let me feel it. So I said, shit. They, mind you, these niggas is still in here. Like they pretty much just ignoring us, talking, like having a little conversation about whatever uh, we was not giving a fuck so she said let me feel it right so she um stuck her hand and she felt that thing you know what i'm saying but uh so she felt it she's like mm. so i like you know all the time it is you know me i was got you know, <laughs> you feel me i'm rock solid like like fucking concrete but anyway so uh so my partner like shit y'all trying to go smoke or whatever and i'm like nah I ain't even focus on the weed right now. I'm trying to get a buddy. So, them three leave out. And uh, so they, they already knew what the fuck was going on. Like, they knew I was finna bust down. So they slid and niggas cut the lights off or whatever. And shit, all right. Shit, we both knew what was up at that point. Like, it turned the lights off. So look. Um, so we was kissing again. It's, it's dark or whatever. And um, you feel me? I'm playing with it. And she's like, all right, I'm ready for it. I'm like, shit, me too. Now, my boy, he, now I forgot to mention, my boy gave me two. He gave me two condoms, all right? Bear skins. Remember, they're bear skins. For them to store, remember that. Two bear skin condoms, all right? I, ain't, I don't know what this shit feel like, okay? So, mine. So, look. So, she like, all right. Um, shit, she said she ready, so I'm like, all right, bet. But... I'm like, I don't know, bruh. I was just so curious and so excited, bruh. I ate the pussy, bruh. It wasn't long. It wasn't long. It was probably for like, probably like a good three, four legs. Like, ah, ah, ah. like I, I just, ah, just want to see what it tastes like. So I did that. You feel me? She liked this shit. She said I was good. You feel me? But anyway, so uh, it go to, I put the condom on or whatever. And I'm right, like, I'm like, all right. You feel me? They were missionaries. So, like, I try to get on top. And I try to, like, I try to put it in, but I can't. Because I didn't know that it was not as easy as it looked, right? So, I try to put it in. And shit did not work. So, I let her do it. And so, she put it in. And I was in there. I'm like, missionary, I'm in there. Ah, ah, I'm going crazy. You know, I, I watched a lot of porn, bro. So, that's how I learned my skills. So I'm in there, I'm going crazy. And she's like, all right, hit it from the back. All right, bro, I think it's, bro, I ran out of storage again, bro. So look, anyway, I'm in I'm, I'm in from the back, I'm going crazy. Ah. And then out of nowhere, bro, for some reason, it started feeling better than it did when we first, like, you feel me, when we first was going, it was feeling one way, I was like, okay, this feels good. Then, it just started feeling like really good. So I'm like, all right. I'm going crazy, you feel me? I'm, I'm going, yeah, I'm going to retarded on him. But look, so, um, so after that, she was like, all right, let me ride. You feel me? She ride. I'm going crazy again. I'm talking, I'm going, everything I've seen before, I'm going, all that shit. So I can do everything. So look, uh, then, so after she did all that, we, uh, back to the missionary. So I'm like, all right, shit, I kind of, you feel me? I put it in myself this time. I'm in here, I'm going crazy. Then it get to you feel me like the climax. So like for some reason, bro, she wrapped her legs around me. So I really couldn't get out. Not like I was even thinking about getting out at the time. So I'm still going, I'm going. Her legs wrapped around me, tight as fuck, pull me in. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm really in there now. Then you feel me? The volcano had to erupt, my nigga. So I shot the club up. I did, but mind you, in my mind, I got a condom on, so I'm like, shit, we good, so I'm, 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 
I suit the club up, bro. So, <laughs> so hey, you feel me? It's, it's, we done now. It's uh, they still outside smoking the whole time. Actually, yeah, they. No, no, no. We had to stop for a little bit because they was done smoking before we finished, and they just walked through and went to the kitchen or whatever. But anyway, so I shot the club up, and then uh, you know, we turned the lights on and shit. I go to the bathroom to go flush the condom, and it's still on me. Well, it's it's still on me. I go to the bathroom. And I'm looking. I'm like, oh fuck. All I see is a little ring part. If you've ever seen a condom, you know what I'm talking about. But it's just a little ring part, and it's just around the base. So I'm like. Damn, where the rest at? So I go, <laughs> I go to her. I'm like, look, bro, that shit broke. So I don't know. You feel me? Like I don't really know what to do in this situation, bro. Like, uh, do you have the other piece? You feel me? I don't fuck. I was so stupid, bro. So look, I did that, and then um. She's like, no, bro. Like, I don't ain't nothing in me. Like, I don't know, like. And it's all like, right, fuck. So you feel me? Like it's awkward as hell, bro. Like I don't know, bro. I went from feeling like I was just at the highest high to literally within seconds feeling like the lowest low. Like what the fuck? And so we're going to the kitchen. My partner in there. Oh, my homegirl in there. And I just walk in, bro. And I just got like the sickest look on my face, like. And then these two fuck niggas was laughing the whole time, bro. Like, I swear to God, they was laughing. Like, like shit was not serious, bro. Like, they was clowning, but like, why you look like that? I walk in there, bitch, like, bro, broke, bro. Like, it's straight up. That's how I came in. Like, bro, broke. Like, bro, fuck. I'm so sick of this shit. But anyway, so I'm like, look, it broke, bro. And so they like, they just laughing, bro. Like, shit, better drink some vinegar. Like, just saying stupid ass shit, bro, whatever. So anyway, bro, I'm like, I'm, I'm scared, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm scared as fuck. Like, I feel like this bitch is pregnant now. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't mean to call her a bitch, cause we still friends, bro. I fuck with her to this day. But anyway, uh, I feel like she pregnant now. So I'm like, damn, bro, I'm fucked. So I'm just calling her. Just call it random friends, bro. Like, bro, I need a plan B. Like, I don't know. I don't even know how much them shits cost, bro. So, anyway, finally, bro, I call my partner. Um, I catch my partner. I ain't gonna say his name, but I catch my partner or whatever. And, uh, so this nigga, bro, he came in clutch because he had just got through getting some budget. Like, and he was on his way back to the crib, bro. And I had just caught him, like, at the right time, bro. And, anyway, so he took me to the store or whatever. We riding through, we going to every store bro like every walmart walgreens cvs mind you it's probably like two three in the morning bro so everything fucking closed bro we just searching for stores bro finally bro we find this i forgot who it was i think it was i think it might have been kroger or walmart bro but anyway so we finally get there and um them niggas got them and no it was cvs bro yeah it was cvs and I'm thinking it's just like twenty dollars, bro. So I go in there. You feel me? I'm like, yeah, I need a, a morning after pill. And that bitch said it's like sixty something. I said, sixty, bro. I ain't got sixty. <laughs> you feel me? So I go to my boy. I'm like, look, bro. I'm short, but I'm gonna pay you back, bro. Just fuck, bro. Please on this shit. Like I'm pretty much begging, bro. Like please fuck with me, bro. And he did, bro. That nigga clutch, bro. And he uh. So he gave me the bread, you feel me? I bought that shit, and literally we we went straight back to that house, and uh, shit gave that shit to her, you feel me? And it was funny, bro, cause like that Monday we had school, bro. We was we had class together. No, did we, no, we ain't had class ever. Her her class came to my gym class, which is crazy, right? But anyway, so I was just like, bro, I didn't know what the fuck to do, bro. I, I didn't know what to say to her name, bro. I bought her some food, though, you feel me? I'm a real nigga. I take care of mine. So I bought her some food because she told me she was hungry. I felt like I was a baby daddy already, bro. But anyway, that's it, bro. That's how I lost it. I lost it and almost lost my life at the same time because if I would have came home 
Or if, I, if that bitch would've been pregnant right now to tell my mama that shit, nigga, I would not be here. I would be dead. I would be in somebody's backyard, in somebody ocean, a lake, chopped up in a hundred thousand little pieces, bruh. Cause my mama would've fucking murdered me, bruh. But anyway, long story short, that's how I lost the V card. Man, bro, what a time. But honestly, that was probably, it's funny that was my first experience and it probably wasn't, it was, I wouldn't say it was my best, it was my best and my worst experience. Because usually, you know, people people first get something, they but quick, I didn't. For some reason, bro, like, I didn't even, I didn't even jack off before, bro. I was just like, mm-hmm. That shit. Alright y'all, but yeah, that's it. So that's how I lost my V card or whatever. If you're new to this channel, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Don't be a fuck nigga and watch my shit and I'm subscribed, bro. Cause I'ma find you, bro. I'm gonna beat your ass. No, nah, I'm just playing. But real talk, if you so if you watch my videos and don't subscribe, you lame as fuck. Yeah, you bitch. No, nah, I'm just playing. No disrespect. But anyway, y'all. I fuck with y'all. It's your boy Holly Tell the high one. And I'm signing out. Yeah, you don't know. You don't understand how good it feels to be able to do that, bro. If you watch my old videos, you see the journey. You feel me? You see this shit. But yeah. So peace, y'all.